Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming and getting ready with me. I'm going to be going out for drinks with my boyfriend, my cousin, and my best friend and a couple of other friends as well. This is the hair, the makeup, and the outfit which I'll show at the end of the video. The eyeshadows that I've used are from the Makeup Revolution Give Them Nightmares palette. As you can tell, I've just gone for greens. There are loads of lovely blue colours in there. So if you want me to do a detailed video on this eyeshadow palette, then just let me know in the comments section below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure you click the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. But let's get into the video. I've already done my brows, and I have primed my lids with MAC Painterly Paint Pop. So first I'm just setting the primer with a white eyeshadow. Next I'm running a soft cool brown through the crease using a Real Techniques base shadow brush. So now I'm going to blend that out lightly using a Morphe M504. So now I'm taking my Jeffree Star Skin Frost in the shade Mint Condition. Just a lovely kind of minty, shimmery colour. And I'm just using a concealer brush to pack that onto my inner corner. And I did take it across the rest of my eyelid as well, but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. Now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Give Them Nights palette. And I'm going to be using the darker um, turquoise colour and my Morphe E36 brush. All I did was apply it into the outer part of the crease. Um, I didn't quite catch it on camera, so I'm just packing that into my outer corner. And I'm trying to kind of map out a cat eye sort of shape. Next I'm just taking this lighter turquoise colour And I'm using a Natural Collection smudger brush just to try and pack it in the outer third but underneath the darker colour there. And I do take it more into the um, inner crease as well. So I'm using MAC Black Track, which is a gel eyeliner, and my normal liner brush. Um, but as you can see, I was struggling quite a lot to this eyeliner. I wanted to elongate my eye and kind of lift it a bit so I drew my eyeliner going straight up um, but because I've got quite a few kind of creases in my eye it made it really difficult to draw the line. Um, so yeah I'm just trying to show you as best as I can here <laughs> but I was panicking and struggling quite a lot. Um, so here I am just perfecting that line. And now I'm going to fill it in and then I just continued the rest of the line um, along my lash, lash line. So now I'm just taking a glitter eyeliner by collection. It's a nice turquoisey colour and I'm just going to draw that in a line along the top of the eyeliner. Okay, so just very quickly, I just took some mucilla water on an angled eyeliner brush and I just cleaned up the very edges of my eyeliner. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I like this one because it smooths over my pores. Today I'm going to use, be using the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix Foundation. This is the shade Light Vanilla, um, but I find it slightly too dark for me. So all I'm doing is putting a couple of pumps onto this little candle coaster that I got. And then I'm going to use the 
Body Shop Shade Adjusting Lightening Drops and I'm just going to drop a couple of drops onto into the foundation. So I like to start in the middle of my face with my foundation, um, partly because I have freckles and I like to cover them up as much as possible sometimes, and partly because I get quite red in the middle of my face, um, so I like to cover that up as well. And now I'm going to blend down from my chin. Now I'm going to cover up some of my blemishes with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and this is in the shade number one, Fair. I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Okay, sorry, I think my camera stopped recording, but basically all I did was blend in my concealer um, over my blemishes. Now I'm going to go back in with my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Basically, probably just going to do this under my eyes, over my chin and over my forehead. I'm just going to back to that in with my beauty blender again. I want to set that as soon as I can. Next I'm going to set the rest of my face with my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is in the shade 1 Golden Ivory. And I'm just going to give myself a quick spritz of fixing spray. This is the Freedom Pro Studio Fixing Tray Spray and this is the Anti-Shine one. So now I'm going to move on to contour and bronzing and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. And my favourite shade to use is this middle one here for my contour and I do like to use the other two shades for bronzing. Now it's time for blush and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques blush brush using my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice and it just looks like this, this coral colour just here. Now for my favourite part, um, highlight. I am going to be using my Jeffree Star Skin Frost in mint condition and on my cheekbones. So to do that I'm going to use the Vintage Cosmetics Company Fan Brush. So I'm also taking it down my nose and over my cupid's bow. And then I switched to a Morphe brush and I think I used a different highlighter but I can't quite remember which one I used and I'm just doing that on my forehead. Here I decided to take a combination of two eyeliners into my waterline. Um, 
However, if you watch closely, you'll see that that didn't really happen. The outer corner of my left eye just didn't want to have any product in it. Um, so basically I struggled for about 10-15 minutes to try and get that into my eyes and it didn't work. So what I ended up doing was wiping it off and then running it along my lower lash line instead. Um, which you will see in just a minute. Yeah, so I'm, I'm running it along my lower lash line now. And then I think I wiped it out of my waterline off camera. And the lashes I'm using today are from Superdrug. They are from the Superdrug um, lash line and these are the Natural Edition 11s. Now it's time for lips, so I'm taking my Mint Lips Lip Scrub from Lush and I'm just going to um, make sure my lips are nice and smooth with that. Then I can decide which lipstick to wear. So I've given you three options, which I will list on the screen for you now. But this is the lipstick I've decided to wear with this look anyway. So I've already brushed out my hair, um, this is my natural texture of my hair. First thing I'm going to do is spray a bit of dry shampoo in my roots. Um, this is just a Batiste one, it's the cherry one. Next I'm going to part my hair from my parting line down to my ear. I'm just using my fingertip to do this but you can use a comb. And I'm just sectioning that off with a clip. And then I parted from the top of that section right down the middle of my head. And lastly I just took a small piece from the front of each of those two sections and just clipped it back for later. So then you want to secure each of those sections into a ponytail behind the ear. I'm using small clear elastics to do that. So I'm starting with the right side and then I'm moving on to the left side as well. Once you've got those in a ponytail, you just want to um, braid each one into a rope braid. This is where you twist the front section, um, you twist both sections towards and then you twist them both away from each other if that makes sense. Then I am pulling on each section of the braid there, um, just making it nice and puffy. And then I secure it at the end with an elastic once I'm done and just twist it up into a bun shape and then pin it in place. So I'm going to repeat those steps off camera for the other side and then I'll be right back. So next you want to take down the sections that you put away earlier and I'm just going to curl them with my curling wand. So I'm taking small pieces, first curling one forwards, putting that behind my ear, and then curling backwards, and I just repeat this um, throughout the section. So I curl it forwards, curl it backwards, and I let the curls rest behind my ear so that they don't drop too far. And then the last two sections I curled both of those backwards. And I'm just repeating that on the other side and curling forwards and then backwards. And let those fall over my ear. So then I just brushed through those curls with my fingers very quickly and I sprayed them with a lot of hairspray. 
And now all I'm doing is I'm just draping them and pinning them on over the top of the, my buns. And then just repeat the same thing on the other side, just drape it how you like and then pin it into your bun. And that is the hair done. So I have my two buns, my mint choc chip eyes and lips and then I am wearing a dress that has cupcakes on it um, and it's got a kind of like bardo um, neckline. Yeah, it's got um, green and pink cupcakes with brown, pink and um, green cupcake cases and it's just a little skater dress. And I am actually wearing it with knee-high socks. I like these socks, they're grey, they're really comfy. And I've decided to pair this with um, my military leather boot. So that's the finished look. Um, please let me know in the comments section below if you liked it, if you liked my look, and also which part of my makeup was your favourite. Please don't forget to subscribe and to like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.